Hi everyone, I am Jack Red. Last night I posted a bulletin about me doing this video, so I'm going to do it just for personal entertainment. One of these games are good, the other one sucks balls. I'm doing both Hollow Knight games on the second desk. As an added bonus, I'll tell you what I think about the other versions of the game. <laughs> okay, Home Alone for Sega Genesis. This was one of the games I remember back in my childhood. Now, I had a lot of games on the Sega Genesis. I'm not lying here. I showed it to a couple friends and they couldn't believe how many Sega Genesis games I had. I was a big fan of it, and I proven it in the past. I've proven it now, so. <sighs> okay, one reason why people dislike this game is because they don't understand how to play it. Okay, it's easy. There's two different colors. There's easy, and then there's hard. And basically, what easy, you got 20 minutes. Try to score as much as possible. Basically, you kind of keep the houses saved from them. However, if they rob a house, you still, it, they'll still give you a score for it, but the thing is, you lose a house, and basically, they, you only have whatever houses that, that remain. So basically, <laughs> if, there's two meters. There's loot, which means money for each house. If that's maxed out, they win. If pain's maxed out, you win. And basically, you gotta do this until 20 minutes. However, if you're playing this on hard mode, you got 40 minutes. And you can even put traps in the house, which really makes it feel like come alone. I really like that. I mean, you got a slug going around really fast. I mean, they really fought this one through. <coughs> Out of all the versions, this one feels most like Home Alone. And to make things even better, there's even a way, thanks to the Game Genie code, you can play this game forever. Yep, uh, a code to freeze timer, and you can play the game as long as you like. I am dead serious. I did. I like it. You can score as big as you want. Keep houses saved. I mean, you would love to do this. Now, Going from there to its sequel, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, also based on the movie. Okay, I meant the movie was actually pretty good. The original was good. Three was good. Four sucked. But, does this suck more ass than four? You bet your ass it does. Basically, I found this one uh, obnoxious. I mean, guys with suitcases, once you hit them, the suitcases just <laughs> And guys who actually threw suitcases at you, like, it only usually hits you. Then you got actual briefcases that are, I mean, what's up with the briefcases? I mean, do we live in a world filled with killer briefcases? No, we do not. Oh, and plus you're going to find Marv and... Harry, in this, uh, in this one, in the previous one, if they would have grabbed you, you would have been on the wall and you had to get off, which was pretty cool, but in this one, you can actually break away from that. Fighting them in this one is actually more of a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not as fun as it is in the original. Believe me, I know. This one, basically, they stretch the limit. I'm sorry, but this game is obnoxious, atrocious. I mean, the only level that I really hate is the toy level. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Dog and stress. Basically, you get on this train, you're up there for a while, and then when you go down, you're like, what the hell? And then, you realize you had to get on this one certain train before you go down to this part. And if you don't, you go back up and you have to do it again. I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? I'm sorry but that. I have to confess that I was trying not to get pissed off when I was playing it, but I couldn't help it. This game, with the security guards, why do they never leave you alone? I mean, they keep coming at you. I mean, when they do leave you alone, it's like a fresh breath, a breath air. Fresh air. And yet, when you do take them out, it's like a glitch. I am dead serious. Who designed this game? I really want to know who the hell designed this game. The original was a success. I mean, sure, there was ghosts and spiders, robots, but at least they kept it at a certain limit. This one, however, they broke all out with it, and I'm disappointed. I am very disappointed. I mean, the fact is, 
The original was a really fun game once you know the concept. Yeah, this one is a complete pile of garbage. No, no, which pile is this? It's nothing more than a pile of, buff of buffalo shit. And what I think about the other ones is, um, I know it's what the Tender ones, they make it so unrealistic. And yet it's so much unlike Home Alone. And that's the same case with not only Home Alone 1, but it's also the same case with Home Alone 2. And Home Alone 2 being very nauseous on Super Tender 1. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not, uh, well, yeah, Home Alone 1 and 2 on Super Tender. Um, the Sega ones were pretty close. Um, I realized that the Game Gear one, besides its limitation, actually looks like the Sega Genesis version. So I actually like that about the Game, game Gear version. I, I might recommend it, but I don't know if it's that good of a game. I would I'll have to see for myself, but from what I've seen, it's an okay game. Um, let's see what else I'm going to say. If you're a fan of Home Alone, and you want one to actually feel like Home Alone, and you, you can actually understand playing the rules, you, and you don't understand what I'm saying in the video, this is me at YouTube, and I'll tell you exactly how to play Home Alone on the Sega Genesis. Okay? It's a pretty decent game. I hate the fact that some people actually suck at it, because they don't understand what is actually being played here. The thing is, it's you trying to stop these five houses being robbed by Harry and Marv until the time runs out. That's basically it. I mean, that's basically, like I said before, score as much as possible. I mean, how some work can things get? I mean, you can just basically put traps around the house, you can shoot them with your BB gun. Hell, sure, you run out of ammo, but at least you can get other stuff that you can play around with. So, I like that. Anyway, this is Jack Wright. I hope you enjoyed the refill, and hopefully, when, when I do my special refill, you're all going to be happy, have a big smile on your faces, and you're going to watch it until the end of time. So, see you all later.